with these concepts defined let's now try to formally define a flow sensitive points to analysis and we are talking about flow sensitive may points to analysis because we already know how to discover may points to information must points to information out of may points to information so we use the following notation uh, let p be the set of pointer variables may points to information lattice is the set is 2 raised to p cross v all possible subsets of p cross v under the superset relation and we use relation application relation restriction is something that is required in Leibniz based points to analysis and we will not be using uh, it right now in any case in our course we are unable to do Leibniz based points to analysis so we will focus on relation application so relation application says R relation applied to a set X is such that for every element in X we find out the pointy of that element which is in R. So for every U in X if U V is in R, R X gives us the set of V which means that relation application gives the pointies of a pointer which is contained in the set X. So here is a, a simple example. Here we have V, these are the variables and a subset of these, these are the pointers and this is our points to a relation and X is A comma C. So we are saying give me the pointies of A comma C. So R X will give us the pointies of all those elements that are contained in X. In our case X is A comma C. So R X is equal to B C E G because we are saying that A, A points to B here, A points to C here. So we get B and C and then we have C pointing to E, so therefore we have E coming in and we have C pointing to G, therefore we have G coming in. So that's the relation, uh, that's the relation application. There is an answer of relation restriction as well. I will leave it for now. So these are our equations for performing flow sensitive points to analysis. At the boundary information for every variable, we assume that every variable points to question mark. We create this set at the start of P and then for every node N, we take a union of the points to set at the exit of P. This is flow sensitive, may points to analysis. If we were to do must points to analysis, we would be taking an intersection here, but we are not doing must points to analysis. So having obtained the points to information at the start of a node N, how do we obtain the points to information at the end of the node? That is easy. We have to remove certain points to pairs and we have to add some points to pairs. So what are the points to pairs that are removed? So we identify certain pointies that are killed that are whose points to information has to be removed and we just say this is a cross product of all these pointers with all possible locations so all such pairs are removed from p in so these are so we have to define a function kill n which looks which uses the points to information uh, coming into node n and identifies the pointers. Note that in order to perform strong update, we have to find out the pointies of the variables if we have a star x assignment and therefore we need to look at p in information. What are the points to pairs that are generated? These are precisely the points to pairs, pointers that are defined and the pointies whose addresses are read in the assignment statement. So P in and P out are sets of may points to pairs. Kill, def and pointy are defined in terms of P in. 
So we are essentially saying kill of p in are the pointers whose points to pairs pointees should be removed for strong updates. This is these are the pointers that are defined. That is the pointers in which addresses are stored, and these are the pointees that is locations whose addresses are stored. So in order to understand this data flow equation fully, all we have to do is to define kill def and point e and then we would have understood these equations fully so let's now define these for different kinds of assignment statements different kind of pointer statement so if we have a use of x we have clearly nothing is being defined so def n is pointers that are defined these are locations whose addresses are so stored and these are pointers whose points to pairs must be removed so when we have use nothing is defined when we have a use statement nothing is defined nothing is killed and there is no pointy here however when we have x equal to and a statement what is being defined is x what is being killed is again x meaning the previous pointies of x must be removed as a consequence of this assignment in a low sensitive may points to analysis and the pointy whose address is being read here is a so that that tells us what would happen to that equation for an assignment statement x is equal to and a on the other hand when we have x is equal to y what is being defined is again x what is being killed is again x however the pointies are not y but they are pointies of y so we do relation application we apply the relation p into y and this gives us pointies of y in p in because they are the targets of the defined pointers the next statement also defines x so we have x being defined and again because this is an assignment directly to x all previous pointies of x must be removed however in this case the pointy set is the pointy of pointy of uh, y so we get pointies of y by doing a relation application intersect this that with the pointers that may well be question mark and which we must remove so therefore we intersect it with pointers we restrict it to pointers and then we apply p in again to that so this is a two step relation application gives us pointies of pointies of y the next statement star x equal to y is interesting what is defined here is p in of x meaning we do a relation application and find out the pointies of x because these are the ones that are being defined these are the ones in which the right hand side pointies have to be stored on the other hand what is killed is something else what is killed is not p in of x what is killed is the must information in p in of x so we have to discover the must information from p in of x such that we can perform strong update and pointy set in this case is simply p in of y application of a uh, relation application of p in to y which gives us the pointies of y how do we define must information so we want to perform strong update using must points to information and must of a relation is defined in the following manner for every pointer z we create a points to pair z cross either empty set in which case there is no point e or w if z has a single point e r relation application if the application of r to z gives us w and w is not question mark then we have z comma w so this is the must points to information so we create r meaning we create p in may p in into must p in 
by using must points to information. If we do not have a single point T which is not question mark, we simply say that Z has no point T, meaning no killing will happen, only weak update will happen, strong update will not happen. So this is how we discover must information out of may points to information. This is possible because of two things. A, we use question mark, we assign question mark to every pointer at the boundary information and we assume that these equations are solved in an order such that for the very first visit to a node, if there is a definition free path from the start to that node, the question mark point T reaches that particular node. So this says find out must point T's of all pointers. If Z has a single point T, uh, W, then it's in the must points to relation. Otherwise, Z has no point T in must points to relation. So this completes the data flow equation. Here we have the point T's are simply the point T's of Y. For all other statements, all these three extractor functions return empty sets.